All right. How are you guys? It's been um, an hour trying to record this. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I was trying to do it on my phone because you can see, you know, there's, it's, I don't know what's going on with my computer, but there's no, you know, kind of fogginess. However, I had to get this message out. And I was talking about um, Chiron, the wounded healer. We're going to be doing a class on June the 26th at um, 2 o'clock p.m. And um, Chiron, um, in the chart, in your natal chart, if you have one, is an indication of wounding in an area where he may be placed or that centaur in your chart. For me, um, Chiron is in the first house, which is Aries, and Aries is the house of I am. And so um, someone that has Chiron there may not understand why they go through a lot of painful experiences or experiences where they observe behaviors and changes, you know, uh, things that they have to document actually, which creates a um, career for them as a healer or um, even um, holistic work. So um, I was thinking this morning about some things and um, Scorpio, the energy of Scorpio came to me and Pluto is, um, I think it's in retrograde right now. However, there was a Scorpio, I believe full moon, the first of May. And a lot of times when the uh, moons pass, we may believe or think that the energy, you know, hit us that day or maybe a week later and not knowing that it can linger on, especially, you know, with it being a Pluto energy because uh, Pluto is doing a lot of transformation work right now. And so Scorpio also um, works with the energy of Mars, but um, Mars will instigate something to set off an event that will cause the transformation. And so if you had um, Chiron in your first house, these two um, energies that I just spoke of, Scorpio um, energy, a full moon, um, Pluto, the planet, or Mars can set off an event to cause growth. And one of the main things uh, that I wanted to um, think on myself was strength. Because when you go through an event that changes your life or causes adjustments, um, you can lose strength through your, um, the mind, overthinking, through um, stress, um, Anything that's going to take energy away from you, um, you know, acting out, over dramatic, that kind of thing. So it's going to take energy out. But the person that is experiencing this will know if they pay attention to their own behaviors that something has set them off, something has triggered them. Sometimes it's not even a person, but it's just an event within the moon that has said to that individual that it's time for you to deal with this. And you may blame someone because they were there when it happened, but it's not so. You know, um, it's just not always the case. It's just something that we need to see that's going to cause us to see the weakness in ourselves, so that we can become stronger. And that's not an adversarial type of thing. This is where there is unconscious thinking um, of insecurities, hurt and pain that is resonating from childhood. You know, it could be um, teenage, um, the timing of teenage where you might have been rejected and it's triggered at this time in your life to show you that you haven't dealt with it. So this is where the power of Pluto and Mars can come together and work. And Scorpio energy is 
um, the, the impacting factor because a, a lot of times people don't look at the moons and what the moon is washing in and what is washing out. So there's a cleansing. Um, and it's not that the cleansing has to be targeting someone. It's a cleansing that we should have taken care of long ago, you know, in instance of someone being sexually molested or abused, families that go through domestic violence. These things should have been dealt with a long time ago. It should not have to be registering in our life at 25 and 30 years old if it happened at seven and eight years old. You know what I'm saying? Like I was talking to my mother about the domestic violence that she and my grandmother went through. And she was amazed that I remembered uh, so many things, but I do. And it was because they were um, moments uh, that I had to remember probably to be able to help others. So uh, moving on, how do you get the strength? You recognize that there is a weakness, that you have an insecurity or you felt rejected by something and you begin to build strength in an integral way, in a spiritual way. You stop blaming other people about your hurt and your pain because innately, everyone is not responsible for the mother that left their child, that you were adopted, that you know you may have been molested. Everyone is not responsible for that. And so what happens is we find that unconsciously everyone that we meet is responsible for our hurt and pain you know and how do you get the strength to overcome it well this event is triggered for you to see the weakness now you work on the strength that you need to overcome it it is painful because now you're looking at something that looked like it happened today when it happened 20 or 30 years ago maybe 50 years ago the pain that you feel is an exaltation of where you could be in the next level of your life. Some people walk away from things because they feel others are responsible for it when, you know, I'm about to say shit. Yep, shit happened back then. The transformation of this thing is calling us to say, hey, deal with me. Like, deal with my inner child deal with the wound and then when we go back to chiron the healing will come but it's something that we also have the ability to share some people are embarrassed to share that they were in families that were abused or domestic violence um, verbal abuse that kind of thing or the mother or father was narcissistic um, that they had a husband that had narcissistic behavior um, i find it very freeing to talk about things that happened to me. Um, my teachers were the ones that hurt me. My teachers were the ones that hurt me or triggered the event of pain so that I could become stronger. How did I become stronger? Because in the mental battles, I reflected on how to overcome this. How to overcome what? How to overcome just being angry just blaming people for things that happened again in my past taking responsibility for my own self and my choices and that's when things begin to change for us and we become stronger because the truth will set you free and that's that's how it is the truth is what gives you freedom if you said today i cried all last night what what's wrong with telling anybody that the only thing that keeps us from transformation in our life, healing and success is covering up the fact that we're vulnerable. All of us are vulnerable. Eventually, if I hold on to all of that garbage from my past that is triggered, what is it's, it's going to tear me down. So in my weakness, I am able to gain strength when I identify what's really happening. And if I don't identify it, then I become like an old, you know, an old bitter woman or an old bitter man. Someone that's always, you know, um, taking advantage of other people, manipulating, um, hurting other people. This is what I become. Why? Because I haven't dealt with my own issues. 
I keep running from them. Why? Why am I running? When I am who I am, how can I run from me? And this is a question that we have to ask ourselves because it doesn't matter who we're with. Yes, the person may have said something or done something to hurt us, but that hurt wouldn't be there and so defined if I hadn't dealt with some of the hurt from my past. You see, if I was molested, of course, you know, uh, nine times out of 10, when a, a man touches me, I may cringe or I may not want to be um, in relation that way, or I may be um, over, you know, overindulgence when it comes to sex. And it's the same for anything else. One of the things is in the world, we have so many hurt people. No one is identifying with where the hurt come from. The hurt is identifying itself when it shows up in an event so that it can be transformed. To what? To peace. Many people are saying they have no peace with someone at their workplace and all of that kind of stuff. You know, there's Another example is when you go to work and you know you went to work and they give you, you know, today is your last day. We won't be able to keep you on. It's going to trigger pain. Who are you going to blame? Why would not look at the fact that they're giving me the ability to go higher? This is the same with relationships. Giving me the ability to go higher. Event is triggered because I can change the pain that I have inside, the rejection, the hurt, the doubt, the worry, when it looks like uh, the last time or the time before or something that happened when I was a child, the rejection that you feel when you got that last day notice at work is not always a bad thing. It can't, it can't be bad at all. It has to be an opportunity for growth. And that's where strength comes in. So that's what I wanted to kind of like come in and um, just give a little bit of information on because so many people are running away from pain and they run away from some of the best things that could have happened in their life simply because they will not address their past. Now, I'm not just somebody that talks about it. I've been through the wall. Every day I get up and I'm dealing with myself. And I find that even in my changing, and working to get better, I have triggers. But I identify when I hurt somebody. Now, I'm not going to always apologize to people when they hurt me. I did that to try and save face, but I seen that it didn't work. It didn't help the person or people. So I'm leveling up in this time in my life. Now, if you're in a place where you want to level up, that means that you want to grow and you identify with that you have been in pain. For some reason or another, you need some understanding on how to evaluate it and to get it to a place of transformation so that you can become stronger, so that you can become more confident. Then you email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com and we'll set up some sessions. If you just want one, then we have a special on for $75. If you want to do weekly, and you feel like you want to put in the, the investment in yourself, then you can get those sessions at, at 55 right now. But those sessions are usually to start with $85 and then uh, for an hour, and then they're usually 65 a week. So, you know, get in on that special and don't forget about our class on Friday, the 26th at 2 o'clock Pacific on Chiron and Vesta. Find out where the wounded healer is in your chart. If you don't have a natal chart, you'll get one with the class. And it's um, going to be a wonderful class. We, we have some awesome classes. So have a wonderful day and blessings. Thank you for um, subscribing and sharing. Uh, it's worth it to become a healer, to strengthen yourself, and to move forward and be happy and enjoy your life. Blessings.